With the potential for massive crowds converging on cities like Niagara Falls for the total solar eclipse, there's been some concern about the potential for cell phone disruption. In New York State, police are warning that infrastructure could be strained, citing that in 2017, populations increased by 100% before and during the eclipse. Cam Gordon, marketing director with Rogers, put out a statement saying that they will be bringing in portable mobile towers to Niagara Falls and other key locations. He also says that tech crews will be pausing any work on that day. Then there's the question of the Alert Ready program. If an emergency happens, will people's phones go off? If an alert is uh, sent by the authorities, um, the alert uses a different channel than what people would normally use for receiving a phone call or uh, let's say doing some text messages or surfing the internet. So the fact that the alerts are distributed to mobile phones using a, a totally separate channel ensures that if there's an alert, it will be a mass broadcast to all the phones and this way we can ensure that uh, everyone in the area will receive the, that critical message on their device. People are being encouraged to have their devices fully charged in addition to having a full tank of gas, water and snacks if they are planning on being in Niagara or one of the other prime viewing areas for the eclipse Monday, April 8th.